What's up, what's up, Breeze Heat family? Welcome back to my channel. If you're here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. We're about to jump right into the recipe for this chicken and rice soup. Y'all, it is so delicious, packed with flavor, and just overall, like, warming, you know? Like, one of those dishes that kind of remind me of my childhood. So, I started off with two chicken breasts. I would say, honestly, this made enough... It fed me and my boyfriend for one day, two days, and then my son. So I would say like six to seven servings. Um, so you're going to season your chicken. I use some pink Himalayan salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, a little bit of unteased tabs, very good garlic seasoning, hit it with some olive oil, and then I gave it a really nice mix. We're going to make everything inside of this one pot. So it is a one pot meal, y'all, which makes it so much easier. It's also only going to take you probably about 40 minutes to do this. So go ahead. Actually, I lied. Probably like 45 to an hour just because we want to enhance and develop those flavors. So go ahead in a heated pan and drop in those pot. My bad, a heated pot. Drop in... A little bit of olive oil as well and give it like a few seconds to heat up add in those chicken breasts and you're going to allow these to cook and just really get a nice sear on the bottom on the top of them they won't be fully done when we pull them out but that's totally okay because we'll, we'll finish those so here's what they look like you're going to flip them after about Three and a half minutes on each side. Now, this should be on like a medium to high heat. Y'all know I don't really tell y'all to put nothing on a high heat in here. So, we're just doing like a five or a six. Honestly, a five should be good enough because you're going to give it like four minutes on each side. Um, five or six works. And once it's on each side, um, it's completed for four and five minutes. Go ahead and remove it from the pan. And now it's time to add in our veggies. I added in some celery, two celery stalks. I had some baby carrots, so I cut those up, but I will assume this is like a whole carrot as well as half of a yellow onion, y'all. I got it nice and mixed into the juices of that chicken. So you're going to use this the pot, and you want to make sure to scrape up all of that goodness. It might look like it's little burnt pieces, but I promise y'all that's all flavor. And this recipe is really about like developing flavor over each step. So next, we're going to add in a whole stick of butter. If you don't want to do the whole stick of butter, you can do a half a stick. This is just what I found works for me. Um, and like I said, this is a few serving size. So if you're worried about your diet or anything like that, add in half a stick. I did the whole stick and I chopped it up into three different pieces, allowed it to get a really good melt. And this is what it looks like. Next, I'm going to be adding in my minced garlic. I chopped up two garlic cloves and y'all already know the full list of ingredients slash grocery list will be posted in the description below. So make sure y'all give that a check. We're going to allow our garlic to cook down for about a minute and a half until it's nice and aromatic. And we are cooking our veggies on a medium heat. Y'all, this is like a four or five. Um, nothing over that. Just because we just want them to get sauteed a little bit. We're going to, like I said, be developing flavors through each process of it. So now we're adding in that garlic, which is giving it another flavor profile. And we're going to add in a half of cup of flour, y'all. One half a cup. That's it. Not one and a half, but half a cup, okay? <laughs> so mix that around. And I don't know if y'all have seen like a few of my other videos that include flour, but I always tell y'all to let that flour cook down. Mix it well so it's well incorporated into all of like the veggies and everything. But we're going to let that flour cook down. It takes flour about two minutes to get that not floury grainy powdery taste when you're cooking so give it two minutes make sure you're stirring in between the two minutes so nothing gets burnt at the bottom giving it some time for that flour flavor to cook out okay next you're going to go ahead and add in um i did about in total there were eight cups of liquid so i had two cups of chicken broth and then i ran out of chicken broth because you know, the full little um, box that it comes in is about four cups total. I only had one box. So I did one box of chicken stock, which is like I said, that four cups. And then I did two more cups of water. If you want to do all eight cups of water, y'all, that works. It's total. I mean, all eight cups of chicken broth, do that. 
But um, I would at least suggest doing four cups of chicken broth just so we can get that flavor. Because I did that and I added the water. And even with the two cups of water, two cups of chicken, well, four cups of water, four cups of chicken broth, the flavor was still there, y'all. Um, but like I said, I would suggest at least using one full box of chicken stock. Um, if you don't have any on hand and you have some chicken bouillon, go ahead, add in your eight cups. And then I would suggest like two tablespoons of chicken bouillon up in there. Okay. Okay. Now for more flavor profiles, you're going to add in some thyme. Honestly, that's about like six sticks of thyme. Um, and you're going to add in some parsley. These are just some herbs. We're going to add in to, like I said, enhance that flavor, develop these profiles and it's just going to be so good, y'all. I cannot wait for y'all to try this. Like, I am so excited because, like, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm not a big leftover person, but I ate the leftovers for this, okay? It was so good. Um, And now I'm going to start seasoning. I did about half a tablespoon of garlic salt, about a tablespoon and a half of Chef Quiche all-purpose seasoning. So you can use your favorite all-purpose seasoning if you don't have that. Um, I also added in some freshly cracked gra uh, black pepper. Y'all, I don't know. I'm a freshly, pla like, black pepper is that girl. I'm sorry. I love black pepper. It's so good. So you're going to give that a nice mix and make sure everything is well incorporated. And now it is time to add our chicken back in. Because remember, when we took our chicken off, it was not all the way done. So we're going to add the chicken back in both of the chicken breasts and we're going to cover the top and allow this to cook down for about an additional 20 minutes okay that's all you need is another 20 minutes it's boiling and like i said cover the top once it's done it should look like this you're gonna do that on a like a low to medium heat as you can see like my water is not raging it's not going crazy you know like it's it's very controlled so it's just heated enough to continue cooking the chicken, but it's not like super boiling because we don't need that, y'all. So there's one of the chicken breasts. Go ahead and remove them both, and then you're going to shred them. And if you want to, you can go ahead and taste some of the chicken like I be doing. <laughs> I definitely will take a piece of chicken and try it. And when I tried it, I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be bomb. I already knew it from jump. I just knew. So while you shred up your chicken, you're going to go ahead and add in your rice. I did a cup and a half of long grain white rice. You can use this or um, jasmine rice. Uh, I would suggest those two because they're kind of similar in their cook time um, for this recipe. I know medium grain rice has a different like cook time temperature and all of that. So let's just stick to either like the long grain or the jasmine rice for this. Make sure you get it all out. I did wash my rice first. I did that because typically when you cook rice, it's very starchy, like that water that you wash out. That's all starch. And I didn't want to add any extra starches to this because I already like the consistency that I had. Now, your water is going to be kind of boiling up a little bit when you add in your um, roast, your roasted, your shredded chicken. Now, this is the point where you want to start cutting your heat down and you don't want to do too much manipulation. I'm just scraping the bottom of the pan because some of my rice kind of got stuck down there and I didn't like that. So I'm scraping the bottom of the pan, making sure that none of the rice that I put in there is stuck. Um, you don't want to do too much manipulation with the rice because then that's kind of what causes it to be like, I guess, sticky, you know, in a sense. Well, sometimes rice comes out sticky. So just go ahead and make sure there's nothing at the bottom of that pot. And now you're going to turn it down to like a low. And I suggest probably putting it on like a three, maybe a four, you know, but a low heat. Cover this up and you're going to wait about 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, your rice should be nice and done, perfectly done. Um, if it needs a little bit more liquid, you can add in some more chicken broth. But if you followed all the directions and the steps according to what I had posted for you guys, it should look perfectly like this. Y'all, this is so good. And if you see those little thyme stems up in the back, go ahead and remove them. It ain't hurting nobody. All of the thyme already probably boiled off anyway and did its thing. So you can go ahead and remove those. Please don't eat them, y'all. I don't, I don't suggest that you eat those. So just go ahead and remove those. And this was so delicious, y'all. Like, this is a money shot. It looks so good, and it is so good. So I really cannot wait for y'all to give this a try. If you do try it, make sure you either... Leave a comment because I would love to see it. If you don't leave a comment, you can um, send me a picture on Instagram, TikTok, 
whatever site you follow me off of, um, I really love to see what you guys come up with when you guys recreate it and your thoughts on the recipes that I make. So I took my time and I made this for you guys and I can't wait for y'all to enjoy. I can't wait to make this meal again because y'all, this was one of my favorites and I don't even be playing favorites like that, but chicken and rice, that combination is already top tier. Plus all of these flavors, like, please. And if you're already here, go ahead and check out some more of my recipes for your next inspo. See you guys next time. Thanks, Breezy Fam.